Help us save out. That's like number two. on my gauge. Open test on number two. And sometimes when you open test on number two, when you're using the one hose, water will boil out of this side. That's just where the diaphragm is pushing all the way over, it's pushing water out of the gauge. So that's nothing to be alarmed about. Open my high bleed. Gauge the peg, air out of it, close my high bleed. I'm going to put water in my side tube. I can fill it up. I can have water right here. Doesn't make any difference. Put water in the side tube, somewhere where you can see it. Hold my gauge. Right here is where the mechanism works that works the needle. This is where we want to hold the gauge. So it's in the center of our gauge. Shut off valve number two off. Shut off valve number one off. I'm going to slowly open my test cock number three. Follow the water to the top of the sight tube. Open the test cock all the way. When I get where I just got a drip, a steady continual drip. Drip, drip, or read my gauge. 2.8. I can lay my gauge down. Turn my test cocks off. I'm going to move my assembly down. If you're inside, you've got, don't we get water on the floor? Hold your finger on top of that. Take it over your five gallon bucket, and that's that much water you don't have to mop up. Just by the nature. We get a steady drill, we read the gauge. 